Um, I, you know, I've, I've heard from a host of constituents. In fact, I have an email uh, in front of me uh, about how, how uh, a constituent talks about a known criminal stealing, uh, uh, attempting to steal this individual's truck, stole his neighbor's truck in a rural area. Um, they, they had camera evidence, but uh, it wasn't seen to be quite enough. And, and the talks about this whole, uh, uh, just a reign of terror of these, these, these known petty thieves that are stealing vehicles. Um, and you talked about in your uh, opening statements about the cost that this has and that it's not a victimless crime. Not only does it terrify and victimize and traumatize in many cases the individuals who have seen, seen uh, uh, significant violations, but also this is a significant uh, impact on the cost of living. Um, insurance rates are not included in the inflationary index, yet we're seeing uh, significant increases in the cost of insurance, which is, of course, an essential part of anybody in our country, a large country, and being from a rural area, we don't got public transit, <laughs> so you have to own a vehicle. So I'm just wondering if, if, if uh, you can share with the committee how we reconcile that there's an incentive to make sure that vehicles are not stolen. There's an incentive to make sure that these thieves, in many cases on bail, uh, in some cases stolen a vehicle, get arrested, and the same day go back and steal. I could point to a number of examples. Same day, they're back out on the street stealing more vehicles. What's the, the, the picture here to make sure that we can deal with it so that ultimately Canadians can save uh, uh, insurance costs, the cost of vehicles over the last couple of years up 20%. That's a massive cost and contributor to inflation, not tracked according to the government's numbers. But I'm, I'd like to hear your feedback about how we can stop this to ensure that ultimately Canadians aren't having to pay the price for the host of circumstances that are leading to massive increase in costs. Uh, thank you uh, very much for the, the great question. So uh, in terms of the cost, perhaps I'll just start there first. $1.2 billion last year, uh, and this is in addition to a number of other costs that we've seen increasing across the auto insurance industry. Your vehicle, you know, our vehicles are all becoming much more expensive uh, to repair. And so the industry did look at ways that we could mitigate the impact of this on our own uh, prior to, of course, the great collaboration that we're seeing now. And so some of the ways that we did that, we incentivized the um, installation of aftermarket tracking devices so that when your vehicle is stolen, we can see where it is, we can get it back for you. That, of course, will have a reduction in costs. These can be upwards of $500 uh, to install, and we've been, uh, a number of insurers have been waiving that fee or incentivizing folks to do it or not charging the surcharge you may have to pay if you have a high risk vehicle. So that's some ways that we're trying to incentivize. We're also making sure that we get out uh, consumer information to uh, customers at the point of sale, including, um, you know, you might want to install a bar on your steering wheel. Uh, you might want to put your key in a Faraday uh, bag, and we've been incentivizing giving those away as well. So we are very much trying to do what we can on our end to incentivize and uh, limit the impacts on theft. I think from what we can do uh, all together. Again, it's not just going to be sort of one government and one solution, uh, but with uh, the federal government's action plan, we do uh, implore you to look at all options available to you from stiffer penalties, resourcing prosecution, um, reprioritizing CBSA towards auto theft, the 72-hour rule, those are critical. Provincial, investing in the, uh, investing in um, enforcement teams and revinning, and I'll stop there because I see we're at time. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Thank you, Thank you Chair. Yeah. Appreciate <laughs> the extra time.